Hello everyone and welcome back to Super Metroid. My name is Tom, otherwise known as Titanium Leg Man, and today I think we need to continue sinking into the depths of Brinstar. Uh, when last we left off, we had successfully defeated a giant plant monster, and we got super missiles, which is cool. There's been, ah, a couple of places that we need to use them thus far, but, oh really, you're just gonna jump across that gap? Fair enough. Well, I'm learning how those guys work more and more as I go. But yes, we got access to super missiles, which is, again, cool. I didn't mean to shoot a super missile there. Ha! I forgot I have to click twice to go back to my normal blaster. That's gonna take a little bit of getting used to. Fortunately, we got another super missile back right there, so it all, you know, bounces out. And we got another one there. These guys are just a handy little receptacle for power-ups, huh? That was actually a pretty good shot if I do say so myself. Alright, cool. So, the question is, now that we have these super missiles, where is it that we need to go? It actually looks like, according to this... Oh dear. Oh yeah, that's the one area. Okay, yep, 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 yep. It looks like we do have some secrets that we're still missing in the area, which, I mean... Can't say I'm too surprised, honestly. There's a lot of stuff I don't know about this game yet. Now, orange... Was this Super Missile? Okay, well, if it is, it will require more than one. Okay... Give me my health back, you bastard. God, aren't you a bouncy bastard? Can you not, sir? Jesus Christ. Those are painful to deal with in con Ugh. concert. I'll take some of my missiles back, thank you. Ooh, even super missiles, nice. Alright, that's a decent restock, if I do say so myself. So, orange doors are not super missiles. Which, I think means green mists or green doors are? I will gladly take this missile upgrade, by the way. Thank you, game. And there is a green door up by our ship. Whoa. Interesting. Uh, hello? What are you? Charge beam, huh? What do you do? And how do I use you? Charge. Oh, does that just mean... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No. Uh, I, hmm, I figured that meant that I could, like, charge up an attack, but now I'm not so sure. Oh, wait, did I turn it off? Oh, maybe I just turned it off. Whoops. Yeah, there we go. That's the Samus attack we all know and love. The one that we all spammed as children in Super Smash Brothers. Awesome. Very cool. Okay, well... I guess I'm not going... Yeah, I guess we're not going that way, which, I mean, hey, fair enough. I'll take that. That is an upgrade that I am more than happy to get. But, if that's the case... Unless we need the charge beam for the orange door? Maybe. Nice. Oh, it's so satisfying to have that. Alright, let's see, does this work? Negative. Okay. Something else entirely still. Got it. So, in that case... I'm guessing our only option is to go back up towards our ship, which is fine. One thing that sucks 
is the little dots don't go away on our map once we've already been to an area or like once we found the secret so because my memory is what it is I don't know what secrets I have and haven't gotten <laughs> so I'm gonna have a very hard time keeping track of things that I actually need to go back and explore further which kind of sucks but I mean what can you do I guess so long as you're able to progress They're just completely indestructible, huh? Unless... Nope. Okay. Unless... Okay. I feel like it's probably not worth it to use a super missile on that, but it does work, so... That tells us something, at least. Nice. Oh god, please no. You know what? What if I just didn't? You know? Oh, we're doing this again? There we go. Amazing that they will eventually just crawl into the vents to get you if you keep them trapped outside for long enough. It's exceedingly rude. Damn it. Yeah, come on, buddy. Come on, get in here. Come on. Sucks to suck. That's gonna be like the new strat. Do, do, oh, come, there's another one. Nice. Now we're getting the hang of things. Now we're feeling the way things are supposed to work. Okay, so I figured out that I was not able to go down here. Right. Okay, so then our only recourse, well, we could go get a missile recharge. I don't think we really need that, honestly. And then on the left, is the M stand for a presumably map? Map room? Maybe? We're gonna find out. That's our save room. Which actually, I guess we can do since we're over here. It may only have been 10 minutes, but we found a couple fun things in between here and there. <sighs> Beautiful. I can feel that same level whoop, of interest in the world that I had in Hollow Knight, like learning the layouts and everything like that. And I'm glad that I have an appreciation for it now, because I definitely didn't back in my uh, youth, which is why I never played Metroid until now. Metroid and Castlevania both, I hated backtracking. I hated having to go through areas that I already went through before. Like, I just wanted to progress. I wanted to fight new things. I wanted to see new story aspects. And, uh... Metroid and Castlevania felt like they flew directly in the face of that. This is a map room. Okay, got it. Now, though, I can appreciate the games much, much more. Which is nice, because, I mean, yeah, even though that means that I'm way behind, there's also a whole bevy of stuff from two amazing series that I get to experience pretty much completely fresh whenever I want. Which is really, really cool. You know, this, this zone isn't nearly as spooky as the starting zone, but the music is real funky and I like it. Yeah, I guess we found everything that we can find in Brinstar for now, which, hey, fair enough. Although, wait. Were there any secrets down there that I missed? Hold up. It still doesn't make any sense to me how we go from this, like, technological wonderland up here to just the jungles of the deep. I guess just lower in the planet there is less infrastructure, maybe? I like, too, how the music fades in as you get closer to the area. That's super sick. Okay, now this is telling me... No, I didn't... Ah... Uh... The game's telling me that there's a secret or something I have to find in there. Unless it means the elevator and the little dots are not so much necessarily just secrets, but points of interest in general, which is possible. But I feel like I need to do a little bit more searching in this area before I just write it off. Although the room up at the top also has a dot in it, so that, yeah, that might be all it is. 
Well. Hmm. Yeah, now we're not even in the right room. Okay. I think that just means that there's an elevator in there. I think. I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments, though. It would be very good of you if you did. Because yeah, unless you're going to tell me there's like... Yeah, no. Okay. We're good. Yeah, this music is excellent. Boom! Boom! There's actually a path there on the right that I don't think I noticed before. Huh. This is just a place to get infinite resources, huh? Like, that's all those are. That's just infinite resources. But also, potential death. Until, of course, you get all your energy back. Let's go out and then run into that guy. Cool. Very generous with places and things that will get you your health back. Or your missiles back, or whatever, which I guess is good. Oh, right, this is this area. Well, we may as well reveal it on the map, lest I get confused again. Yeah, can't do anything with that. Although it is obvious from the map that we'll be doing something down there eventually. Yeah, it makes sense that you'd, they would kind of need to give you places to refill your stuff so often, seeing as how there's entire doors you can only open if you have five missiles and things like that, so it makes sense. Speaking of missiles... At, although... I would like to see... It seems like that does hurt them. Aha! I can two-shot them. Not super necessary at the moment. Seeing so how we can just one shot the missiles and then they tend to drop more, but. Beautiful. I keep forgetting that I can't just tap select once to switch off the missiles. Rip. Ah! The fact that these guys don't die in one shot. Painful. Painful to the core. You know what? I'll take it. Get low, get low, get low, get low. You know, I didn't expect to get thrown forward, but I'm kind of glad I did. That was cool. Yeah, the only path forward that I can think of right now is back to the ship and going to that green door, so let's do it. This is the type of content I would normally probably cut out, but seeing as how there's been some interesting things that I've learned about the combat... God damn it, I forgot that those guys drop particles that hurt you. Um, and just some discussion overall. I'll leave it in this time. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Alright. Well, it's still raining outside. That's good to know, I guess. I'll try saving in my ship again, but last time I did this, it didn't work, so... We'll see. Like, it said that it saved, but it just didn't. Beautiful. Thank you, ship. Oh, yes, yeah, there's a little marker on our map here. So, yeah, that's just indicating that there's a point of interest there. Fair enough. I wonder if it's possible that there's ever stuff hidden in these... Not there, but it certainly is possible, I feel like. Aha! Yep, there we go. Okay. Green means super missile. Ooh, look at this fancy little area. 
God, not another one of you. Not another one of you. I like that we can still hear the thunder in here. Oh god, but then there's an old orange door. Hold on. Ew! They spit like acid? Ugh! Disgusting. Hmm. It doesn't get any more charged than that. Uh huh. Well, that was a bust. I thought I was onto something there. Well, then, if we're not supposed to go there. I guess maybe back down into Brinstar? Maybe? I don't know. We can certainly try it. Go come at it from a different angle from the one that we came back up from, just to see. Could I unball and go faster? Yes. However, being a ball and rolling around is amusing to me, so. At least for that section where it's nice and flat and there's no enemies, so I'm gonna keep doing it. Ooh, I'll take that health. Thank you, gentlemen. You know? May as well. Because this way takes us... Oh, just in there, right. Mm. And what was this area? You know, we didn't need a missile to open that. Whoops. Oh, this is where we fought the... Yeah, we fought the Chozo statue in there. Okay. Ah! <laughs> Good to know if I don't hesitate and just go, I can run right past them. Yeah, it's coming back to me now. Okay. Well, yeah, back down to Brinstar then. Seems like our only course of action at the moment, so I'm gonna commit. I guess there's a lot of enemies you can just run past, huh? Ow. Map room over there. Point of interest over there. Hold on. What was this side? This room. Okay, yep. Got it. Yeah, we keep heading down. Oh, come on, you little spiny bastards. Thank you. Right, we got the great space pirate wall. We See you, everybody. I'm sure there's people that can drop down this with such fine coordination that they don't touch a single platform. Those people exist and they scare me. I don't know where they are. I've never seen them from my own eyes, but I know for a fact that they exist and their mere existence is terrifying to me. Right, the mother brain chamber. Wow, I just stood there and took that in the jaw. That was a major deer in the headlights moment for me, whoa. Would there even be anything down here that I would need? This takes us back down to Brinstar, but I don't remember there being anywhere down here that we could go. Or that would now be open to us, you know? Hmm. What am I missing here? I'm sure some of you are screaming at your screens. 
and then others are just laughing in absolute glee watching me try and puzzle this out. I know this because that's exactly how it was back in Hollow Knight. Yeah, this doesn't do anything for me. There's going to be people who are going to be typing out in the comments where I need to go. And there's going to be those of you... Oh! He fell off because the door opened? Interesting. Oh, God. And then there's going to be those of you who are like, I swear to God, if you tell him, if you tell him I'm going to do heinous things. Oh, isn't that interesting? Huh. That's pretty cool. We learned a new trick. I don't know how this trick is going to be applicable or useful, but like... Well, I am now well and truly lost. I believe the idea would be... Because this is where we fought the boss. I, obviously, I can't point you to it for you, but like... Right here in the center of my map, we did the whole boss fight and everything, came back down and around with the super missiles, and my thought would have been that we would proceed down from there, but then we hit that orange door. So unless there's another ability that I'm supposed to be getting that I can't, that I missed, which is certainly possible, but I don't know. Well, how about this? I'll call this one here, and um, I can either do some off-screen exploration or I can do some very light consulting with people who are in the know who might be able to give me a hint without spoiling anything. So either way, by the time we come back to the next one, I will have a better idea of where it is that I need to go, and we'll make some more forward progress. So thank you guys for hanging out while I kind of spent part of the episode muddling about, trying to figure out where I was going, and the other half, you know, actually getting some cool stuff and checking some things out and learning. So but yeah, with all that said, if you know someone that you think would enjoy this series or any of my other series, if you could shoot them a link, that'd just be swell. Until the next time, though, I hope you all have a good night. Stay safe and healthy out there. And remember, be good to each other. Bye now.